Hey everybody, so I've been asked what I use to set up on my my stream on Twitch and Hitbox here. Um, I use a program called Subalert and I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to use it because I've recently started using it and it was confusing as all heck at first, but after I figured it out this works great. Uh, but I do have to say all the other tutorials that you find are absolutely wrong. And I don't know, like how this work, how it works on their stream, the way they, uh, the way they told you how to do it, but um, it certainly shouldn't. So, anyways, you're gonna go to uh, hitbox.tv/subalert or twitch.tv/subalert, but it does not matter where you get it from because the option for both Hitbox and TV are integrated into it. So, here's what you do: go to hitbox.tv/subalert or either download it it's going to be a zip file so make sure you make an empty file on your desktop put it into it and extract the uh, sub alert uh, zip into it and then you're going to go into the sub alert file and start sub alert up after you start sub alert up it's going to ask you to update it make sure you do so now after you update it it's going to ask you for your channel name only. In other words, not you know, not twitch.tv slash your channel name. No, it's just your channel name. So just put your channel name in there. Like my channel name's Curseus. That's all I put in there. I didn't put twitch.tv slash Curseus or hitbox.tv slash Curseus. It takes care of that part. So you just put put in your channel name. After that, you'll get this uh, config window right here. Now. We're going to configure our followers here just to show you what that's all about. Now, when you hit edit, you're going to get a green squared screen that shows up. Mine right here has the Bonnie jump scare in it. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's pretty cool. When people follow, they, they get the Bonnie jump scare from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Anyway, what you're going to look at here, though, is the window settings here this is actually the size of the green box how wide it is and how tall it is you can also change the color of it if you want doesn't matter now the background image settings this is the uh, image either you know just a background image or it can be the front image doesn't matter but for me, it's the uh, Bonnie jump scare uh, animated Jeff. So you then you're going to match the image with the size of the box. Now, th actually, this doesn't work if you're using the wrong animation. The animation, either from top to bottom or from bottom to top, uh, you don't want to use those if your image takes up the full screen because when it comes in from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom, um, or from the left or the right, it's going to be off center for some reason. But if you use fade in or fade out, it will appear perfectly, which I'm going to test it. And I'll show you what I mean. Like, okay, like if I put uh, top to down, and I hit test animation, if it comes in like that, well, actually, it came in perfect. Uh, huh. Oh, bottom up. That's the one. I think that's the one that has a problem. So let me double check. Cause I'm pretty sure it's bot. It's bottom the top that has the problem. Yeah, you see, you see how it came off, came in on off centered, like that. So with a little bit of yellow left at the bottom. But that doesn't matter though. But if you use fade in, fade out, it come comes in perfectly. And that's all you need to do. Now, after you're done setting it up, setting everything up, there's sound settings. You use what file you want, sound file you want, all that stuff. Hit save and close. Now, but actually, before we hit save and close, though, actually, you, you can hit save and close. But most people in the other tutorials are going to tell you that when you're adding your window capture, that you're going to want to capture the preview screen. This is incorrect. This does not work. Now, I'm going to tell you, though, what to actually capture. Now, when you're all done, like I said, hit save and close. 
Now you see this start button right here? This is the start button for the live session. So you hit that and boom, yellow square, or for me it's yellow, I changed it, I don't know why. But the, the square is going to appear on your screen right where you left it. Just remember you can't drag this. So you have to move it to where you want to move it. Otherwise, being a window capture, it, if anything it comes over it, it's going to show up on the on the stream. So make sure that this is on like a second monitor or somewhere away from your game. Because otherwise it won't show up on your screen. It has to be it has to be um, the front image on your on your screen for some reason. Now, anyways, so what you're going to do here though is we're going to add a window capture. We'll just call it uh, you know new follower slash donation because both will show up. This will play either or or both you know. So new follower slash donation, and we are going to capture what is called the main alert. So after we capture the main alert, we're going to use color key. We're going to select a color, make sure to select the yellow color, because if your image doesn't entirely take up that, that whole box, uh, the rest of the yellow is going to show up on your stream. So you use the color key to make sure that it doesn't. So after we're done, we hit OK. Well, like I said, though, since this is a window capture, anything that goes over it for some reason will show up. So make sure that this box is somewhere like on a second monitor. Anyways, and we'll go to the show session the, the show session log because we can force a test. So if I hit followers, boom, shows right up. No problem. Which actually, I want this to be a little bit bigger because I want people to get frightened by it. So we hit the hit the followers test. Boom. There it is. That people will see that right on their screen and get a nice jump scare hopefully from it or maybe I will while I'm playing I, I don't know but uh but that's it you guys if this helped you out make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on twitch.tv slash curseus and also follow me on hitbox.tv slash curseus and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye